Ladies and gentlemen, update 1.7 is finally out for everyone to play, meaning that we have the new hero available, Pat Fusty. Something huge is landed in Battles 2. That's right, the balloon popping behemoth Pat Fusty is making his battles debut ready to pound your opponent's rushes to pulp with his earth shaking melee attacks. Plus, we're introducing an entirely new way to earn awesome cosmetics with season rewards, complete quests to earn golden bananas, and unlock this season's exclusive cosmetics, including two new hero showcases. I already made a video covering all the changes regarding this 1.7 update, so if you guys have not already, go make sure to check it out. It will be the first link down below in the description. But for today's video, simply, we're going to be using good old Pat Fussy, starting to grind XP for him. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And by the way, your boy got top 25 on the Hall of Masters leaderboards in Season 8, so I'm very very, very happy with that because that means that it's my second top 25 batch. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the wizard as their first palm power tower, whereas we're going to be starting off with the good old Darling Gunner. And I know we see a lot of the Darling Gunner here on the channel, but guys, Pat Busty is out, and Pat Busty times the Darling Gunner is honestly not going to be that bad of a tower combination, in my opinion. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true or not, because I don't have much experience with using Pat Busty since he just literally came out. So that is why we're here ultimately today to see if it's going to be good, and just overall just use Pat Busty, okay? And where do we want Pat is the ultimate question. I'm thinking like all the way down here, literally right next to my Darkling Gunner, all right? We're going to end up leaking a few lives because I was late to placing him down. But it is all good. And round three is about to be here. So let's get to Equin now with Groot Blues. There were a lot of other changes, by the way, coming along with this 1.7 update. And if you guys don't know what all exactly was changed, I actually made an entire video covering every single change along with this update. So if you guys would like to check that out, I'll link it down below in the description. And by the way, we're going to have to go for the powerful darts here. I'm going to wait one more income boost, okay? Because it looks like Pat is actually helping us out a bit, but not enough for us to be able to fully, fully defend, okay? So let's retarget our Dartling Gunner more up here. And one of the bigger changes involved in this update was actually the early game eco sense. Not only do they cost more, but you also get less eco. So it's a pretty much lose-lose situation. But the good thing is it affects both you and your opponent. So it's like your opponent won't have as much money to rush you and vice versa. Okay. And the reason why they did this was to actually nerf farms in a way because farms heavily rely off of the early game eco sense. But now that you have less money during the earlier game rounds, you can't invest as much money back into those banana farms, okay? But we're going to be using a banana farm strategy. Dudley Farm Spike Factory, that is, alongside Pat Fusty. Now, Dudley Farm Spike Factory, it's one of my go-to and favorite strategies. But I'm not going to claim at the same time to be like the meta strategy because it absolutely is not the meta strategy, okay? I'm not sure if it's better for us to send group blues here or spike. Space. Okay, I definitely know space whites aren't the way because look at space whites. They cost 30 and they give 1.5 eco, but so do pinks and they're 28, and so do space yellows, but they're 24. So space yellows would be actually the way to go, unless you want to solely force an upgrade over on your opponent's side. By the way, I did not go for these banana farm upgrades until now, so that is totally on me. But it looks like the space blocks over on his side are starting to push through a bit. He's got a Zilli as his hero, and then his next bomb power tower is, in fact, the Alchemist, okay? So, kind of a weird setup so far, but it definitely does work. What we're going to end up doing here, by the way, is just going for one more 200 farm, and then immediately calling it a day after that, because we're going to have to save up enough money in order to go for the good old Hydro Rocket Pods. No, no. Okay, wait, we use level 3 ability here? So with this level 3 ability, it gives all nearby towers the ability to pop one extra lair, aka they just do more damage, and we just absolutely shredded right there, okay? So that was 100% the way to go. I think it's better for us to send space purples here too now. Now, there was a post made on the Battles through Reddit about the most optimal balloon sense regarding this new 1.7 update, and I believe on round 8, you definitely want to make sure that you're sending those space purples there, okay? Oh my, oh my, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're fine. It's going to cause a little bit of regrowth, but we're good. Awesome. So the cool thing is, too, Pat Fossey has the ability to pop lead balloons, so we don't immediately need uh, lead detection over on our side. Um, but it is still pretty scary at the same time. I guess I'm just going to go for the Hydro Rocket Pods right here. I'm going to try to keep this powerful dart startling gunner. Don't know, though, how possible that is. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. 
We're good, we're good, we're good against that. Although it's going to push a bit because we don't have that focus firing. Oh my god, this guy's actually playing really, really well, by the way. Uh, for it being a casual game. So let's get to sending space rainbows now. Since they are, in fact, super, super efficient. Yeah, I'm not too fond um, of this Hydro Rocket Pod spot, of course. But I wanted to keep the powerful darts darling gunner down there. Unfortunately, our friend over here just ended up rushing us. Dude, Ari goes through the roof, by the way. When it comes to our farm strategy. Holy crap. So I'm going to eco with grouped yellows here. Although grouped yellows were specifically nerfed. But grouped pinks were specifically buffed. So it would be a bit better for us to send the pinks. But we actually don't have enough money on hand right now to constantly send those. So I'm going to... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, I got scared. I got scared, guys. We did not need to tower boost that. But I got really, really scared. So... 100% on me. We might actually then have to sell a farm in order to go for a rocket storm here. Because I used the level 3 ability and I tower boosted right there. But I've never seen like, the level 3 ability in action really. You know what I mean? So let's see. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We just sell like literally every farm. That's the only downside to that. Um, okay. You're just going for the all in. I think we're fine against that. Yeah. Okay. And then he's going to use that. We use level three ability. And we shred that. Easy. Okay. Um. Wow. That guy actually played exceptionally well. But I'm just going to have to all out of here, unfortunately. He ends up surrendering. GG's only. Level three ability actually carried us right there, which was super, super awesome. But we got to play another game. So I'll catch you on the next one. And it looks like our opponent is going to be using the ice as their first palm power tire this time around. Whereas we're going to be once again starting off with the good old Dartling Gunner. At least we're using Dartling Farm Spike Factory, okay? Not like Dartling Farm Ice or some other variant of a meta Dartling strategy. Uh, but I, I have to assume that this guy is going to be using BSI, which is Boomer Sub Ice. And if that is the case, that is just no bueno. Um, I think here we actually go for the powerful darts. Uh, it really sucks because then we can't go for a round. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We still leaked down to freaking 92, 91 lives. And we immediately went for the powerful darts over on our side. It's just really unfortunate because I wasn't able to go for a round two Pat Fusty. Um, but if I did go for that, then honestly, I think we would be most likely dead here, okay? So at least he's space decoying too. Not entirely sure why. Oh, he's using the Darkling Gunner too. Okay, so I was wrong about Boomer Sub Ice. So I guess that's good to see because Boomer Sub Ice, it is kind of annoying to go against, okay? But since he's space decoying, maybe he's going to be using both forms or something. I have no clue. Let's go for Pat. Oh, no, I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh my god. I got him. Okay. Very, very close, ladies and gentlemen. I know this Pat Fussy spot is, like, really, really bad. But I want to make sure that Pat is going to be within the range of my future Dartling Gunners. So that the level 3 ability can, in fact, affect those Dartling Gunners, okay? So, he is space decoying, but at the same time, like, he's not going to have, like, any eco coming in. Thus, we should just have more money in general than him. Uh, by the way, let's send him some space whites here to force that upgrade over on his side. We're going to go for the uh, faster barrel spin, though. 100,000 million percent over on our side. And we already forced that upgrade. Okay, yeah. Let's get back to sending. Actually, no, wait. Space yellows are the play here. And I'm barely holding on somehow. So let's go for the faster barrel spin. Holy crap, dude. These eco early game nerfs are just hitting me hard right now. I feel like I just have no money whatsoever. My farm game is absolutely putrid. Let's get to sending space blacks here, because I think that is definitely going to be the play. And I guess he is using an eco strategy, okay? Like, he all of a sudden just started ecoing with grouped greens, like, out of nowhere, when during the earlier game rounds, he was space ecoing quite literally the entire time. So, don't really understand that play, but whatever, I guess. Okay, so we might have to use level 3 ability here initially. Yeah. We're going to be fine. I think we're fine here. Uh, let's use it. Okay. So we can shred that. Because level 3 ability do be OP. Okay, he sold his ice to get extra money for sending all those yells. But he stopped already. Okay, so let's go for our next farm. Wow. Late next farm here on the map inflection. This map is brutal too. So we got to make sure that we're eventually going to have enough money in order to go for the good old Hydro Rocket Pods. Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough money to even send this guy any Space Zebras here 
on round nine. He's sending the space purples too. And this is a good player. Benish is a very, very good player. So the fact that we're sending space purples too definitely means something then. Let's go for the faster barrel spin here. We might have to use level three ability again here. Hopefully not. Uh, hopefully it just won't even send me any uh, space evers here. But this will force an upgrade or two over on his side. Okay, he's going to go for an ice. Ice shards. Okay, we'll take that any day of the week. Let's get back to sending space black heat go. Oh, no, guys. We're not going to have enough money to go for this. But the good thing is, Pat Fusty can pop lead balloons for us initially. So we got that going for us. All right, all right. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to have to sell this probably. Come on. Okay. Barely had enough to go for Hydro Rocket Pods. Kind of just wanted to have that set in stone. So he's using regular Pusty, but buffing his ice, it looks like, which is definitely an interesting play. Okay. So I think if we just straight up. Ooh. He's going for the buckshot tech. Interesting play once again. Um, but I'm going to be sending him space rainbows here. I'm not sure if he can actually defend. Maybe with having a buckshot, he might actually be able to defend against all of this, okay? But we should probably still have another dartling gunner on standby. Just because I know a singular Hydra Rocket Pots cannot solo dolo. And I want to be safe, okay? This guy's a good player once again. So we're going to be trying to mix in as much pink eco as we possibly can. Uh, but at the same time, since it is inflection, we don't want to shoot through that high of an amount of eco, okay? Because our farm game, again, it is just not looking good as of right now. Yeah, it looks like some of the AI leads we're getting through. I think he just leaked the life. So one of those, yes, he did. Yes, he freaking did. Oh, he leaked even more lives than I thought. Okay, I'm actually going to stop ecoing here. 1,200 eco. I don't even freaking care because we need to go for at least a banana plantation here. And then I would like to start preparing my spike factory as well more towards the back of the map, okay? So that we're prepared and ready for round 17 mobs. It looks like he's still max equaling with pink balloons. So he doesn't really have all that much money on hand, uh, but he did just go for a cryo cannon as well. So I have no intentions of rushing him. I want to go late with this game. I'm not sure if I already specified that or not, but with the last game, it was actually a casual mode game, which was quite crazy, uh, but we ended that pretty early on. So I want to see Pat Fussy in action during the later game rounds let's go for our next banana plantation over on our side too maybe 1200 eco is a bit low for inflection but i guess it's fine at the same time he went for a hydro rocket pods by the way over on his side okay so he should then be absolutely chilling we got the 302 spike balls all the way in the back of the map so i believe we should be chilling as well he's gonna get back to equin okay so we could probably maybe send him a fortified moab Mm, yeah, I might want to do that. Looks like he's preparing a little bit more. He actually went for a dartling gunner within the range of Pat Fussy, okay? So I kind of just want to see how he's going to react uh, to this fortified mob here. So let's go for a marketplace first of all, since our farm game is just absolutely putrid. And then let's send the fortified mob now. And let's see what he does. Okay, so Pat Fussy is going to be able to push that back for him a little bit. So that will help him out. He used level three ability instantly. Okay, he's going to tower boost. We'll take it. We'll take a tower boost any day of the week. Spam the zero zero zeros, And yep, once he pops out that Moab Lair, he instantly shreds everything on the insides. So well, well done. He's not even equaling. He probably thinks I'm going to all out him here on round 19, which wouldn't actually be a bad play. But again, I would like to continue on this game a little bit longer, okay? Uh, but we'll make sure to send him probably a fortified BFB here on round 20 for sure, actually, okay? So... What should I go for? Should I just go for the central market here? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the central market. Play this freaking safe. We can't necessarily go for any more farms, but you wanna make sure that you go for like better farm upgrades before the start of round 20, since you get all the money all at once. Okay, here comes this AI Moab, which should be easy class for us. Okay, he's gonna immediately send us one, two, fortify BFB. Okay, so we should be bound against this because we've had this spike balls on the map for quite some time. Ooh, okay. Oh, I accidentally upgraded Pat. Um, okay. Okay. Let's tower boost. Okay. Okay. Easy. <laughs> kind of. Not really. Um, I'm going to send him a fortified ZOMG here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I wanted to go a little bit later, but... Oh, he's going to send us a ZOMG too. Okay. So we upgraded Pat. Um, okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think we should be fine against this because we're going to be able to use Big Squeeze here. We can also just go for the Balloon Air Denial System here in a second. So let's go for that. Perfect. He's going to Balloon Boost at me. Okay. Round N, round N, round N. Round N. Come on. 
Okay, we're gonna use big squeeze here. Tower boost. Okay. Hopefully we can defend that. Hopefully. Please. We defended. We defended. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's freaking go, boys. Did we not even use level 3 ability? We didn't. And he's gonna die to the fortified ZOMG. Oh my goodness, wait. Alk buff? <laughs> I didn't even realize he had the Alk buff. But that is, in fact, going to be a GG. We didn't even get to go as late as I wanted there. But still, nonetheless, that was a fantastic game. Got to showcase the big squeeze, and it came in super clutch for us. So again, GG's only. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I tried sending a $1 million mob rush in BTD Battles 2. I know on paper that sounds really dumb because it quite literally is, but it's still a banger video. So go make sure to check it out.